Hello, this is uh, your instructor, Francisco Rodriguez. I'm going to show you how to download Drupal and uh, install it in your web server. Uh, in the same uh, process, I will also show you how to remove your WordPress installation from your website. We don't need much to get started. Uh, we need is uh, for you to follow this page, and I have included a link with the uh, course. It should be below the video. And, uh, and it's just a quick instructions. I mean, these are fairly basic instructions for beginners. Don't let the dates fool you that this has been updated, hasn't been updated since 2010 or actually 2015. Uh, the, uh, Drupal, uh, distribution has been updated all this time and uh, we're going to be using version 7, which although it's not the latest one, it's the most stable one. So the first thing I'm going to do is in uninstall WordPress. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to uh, visit my my control panel, and that is at uh, my my server. It's my username dot weridt dot com followed by cpanel. Once I get in, I'll uh, put in my credentials. These are the same that you've been using for your FTP access all this time, and my password, and log in. I'm going to find the uh, part of the control panel that controls my databases, and here they are right here. I'm going to click on my SQL databases. If your control panel looks a little bit different, there should always be a MySQL databases icon, no matter what the uh, theme looks like. So look for something similar if you don't see exactly the same thing as I do. I'm going to see what uh, uh, databases I already have. I have one. This is the one that I use for my WordPress and uh, hopefully by now you're done with it for this class and you have backed up anything that you wanted to back up. You maybe will have already backed up this database in case you're going to use it elsewhere. I'd have no use for it so I'm going to delete it. I just click on delete, confirm that I'm deleting the database and it's gone. And now I have space in my server to create a new one seems a little bit redundant but we need to do this we need to create a new database I'm going to call this uh, Drupal just to keep it simple create a database and I have added this website or rather this database I'm gonna go back it tells me that I'm now using my maximum allotment that's the one that you have access to I don't need to check or repair it what I do need to do though is create a new user. I'm going to uh, make myself uh, known here. I'm going to use IDT for Internet Development Technologies. I'll pick a password and for now I'm going to keep it really simple. It's going to be something like password1 which I can change at any time later. I just uh, don't want to uh, use something too complicated at least for now. And uh, now that I see that I'm fodrigu underscore idt, that's my username, it's first eight characters, and then the database is this one, I can add that user to the database. When I get to this screen, manage user privileges, I want to make sure that I have access to all the privileges. I will now make changes. And uh, that's it. I'm pretty much set to use this database. So now let me go back to the directions and uh, now that my database is set up I'm going to download Drupal. From my web browser I'm going to right click on this link drupal.org slash project Drupal. Go to that page and uh, find the download. Uh, Drupal Core 7.51 is the current one that I can get. I could get 8.22 but 7.51 is the stable one so that's the one I want to use. I'll click on it. It's going to take me to another page where I can download the zip file. Zip works well with uh, either a Mac or PC and I'm going to download it straight into my uh, site folder. This is the one where I keep all my files. This is where I have my home page and all that for my web page. Click on save and uh, I'll uh, close this window, go back the directions and one thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up FileZilla 
with Fazilla, I see once I get connected, which I'm not, I'm going to press to my server, connect, and click OK. I'm going to have my home folder on the left. Here's my Drupal installation that I just downloaded, and here's my website on the right. If you have a WordPress account uh, already installed, since you're not going to be using it, if you want to save some space, I would right click and tell it to delete and uh, it's telling me that it's deleting i'll come back when that's all gone okay so now my uh, my wp folder is gone my installation is gone the old database has been deleted a new one has been placed i have downloaded drupal 7.5.1 or something on the left i'm going to uh, rename this file to just drupal in the hopes that whenever i do uh, get it up to the uh, let me make it drupal.zip don't take away the extension sorry about that drupal.zip it needs to be uh, a uh, an archive uh, then I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the public HTML folder on this side and I think that I am so that when I right click on drupal.zip and tell it to upload it'll go directly into this folder and uh, it's telling me it's sending it up and now transfers have finished. I'm going to go back to my browser and here I'm going to open up the tab where I had my control panel. Here's my databases that I just created. I'll click on home and that way I can see what the rest of my files. So I'm going to click on file manager and once that's open you'll see that it looks a lot like maybe your Windows environment, a little bit like some Mac environments going to find the public HTML folder that's where all our files live this is where the old stuff was if you have a WP folder in here you might want to right click and choose delete I don't have one here anymore because I deleted it earlier but if I wanted to delete a file let's say I don't need this new index for example which I know I don't I right click and say delete and I tell it to just skip the trash so that I get all that space back I'm going to delete this one as well. Right click delete, skip the trash, uh, and then I have some space. But if you had your WP here and you're not using it anymore, which really we don't need it for class anymore, just feel free to delete that and get it done. Okay, we'll be coming back to this. I'm going to go back to FileZilla just to check that everything's okay. Here's Drupal.zip. Some of the files that I just deleted, I can still see, but that's okay. In the directions, it tells us that we now need to uncompress it. We uploaded our compressed file, and we need to uncompress it on the server. And our server will allow you to do that. We do that in the control panel that I just opened. I will go and find, let me reload this page. And I'll scroll down, and somewhere around here, there's my drupal.zip file. I'll right-click on it and tell it to extract and it'll go straight into public HTML that's the same directory just extract files it tells me what files it got and I think that it created a new folder and that's fine because we can always just rename it I'm not going to need drupal.zip up here anymore I'm going to right click and do the same thing as I did with the others delete it skip the trash and my new folder drupal hyphen 7.51 I don't need it to be so complicated so I'll right click and rename and change this one to just Drupal so now I have a Drupal folder if I double click I see all the files that are in here it's important that you see how that you can see all the folders and you see all the files you don't need to know which ones they are just make sure that you can see the icons because we're going to be needing to change some permissions if you change them too soon you won't be able to access them and if you follow their directions to the rule you might not be able to use your file so we don't want to be overly protective right away maybe later we can really come down and slam the door on intruders uh, set up in the main point into the directory we're not going to do that because we're just going to live inside that folder you don't need to we don't have a domain for you to use unless you have your own domain I wouldn't worry about this we're going to create the configuration file and grant permission it's telling us that we need to uh, 
find this file called settings.php. Um, actually copy a file that's named default settings.php and it should be and you need to move it one level to the side. So let's go and look for that settings.php. And we do that in the file manager. Let's see, is it going to be here? Or is it going to be in sites? I'll double click sites. And there's a default folder. And here's default settings.php. I'm going to right click and tell it to copy this file. And cite the same directory. I'll copy files. Of course, it has the same name. So in order to avoid that, let me do that again. Right click, copy, and then at the end, after default, I'll put it in the slash. That means stay in the same directory. Only this time we'll call it settings.php by assigning a new name. Should be able to just see the two files. Now we have default, the original file, which they say go into uh, that default settings and uh, set the uh, permissions to read only or actually they should be already you will need to copy the file which we did rename it and then temporarily change the permissions so that the server can read and write what that means is is that in our file manager we can right click change permissions and see right now they're set at 644 that's pretty low we want to be somewhere else the user that's you you want to be able to execute everybody else can read and write okay and I'll change those permissions if I go back and check 766 is fine and like I said this is temporary at some point we can go back and change that just to be safe back to the directions and let's see what follows up next we have a uh, Okay, already gone to sites default we have a selected default we have a new file called settings.php uh, we have changed the permissions uh, we have done this add the permissions for the file they recommend seven, uh, 666 I'm using 766 so that we can actually see all the files um, change the permissions of the sites default directory let me see we're going to want to be able to read this as well so I'll go up one level and one level more if I can right there and what folder that they want us to do this in they say you must be able to create blah 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 so your ISP manager sites change the permissions to default which we didn't quite do sites I'm back in sites there's a default folder I'm going to right click on that change the permissions it's already at 755 so that's actually okay I think that 766 would be best for now same thing as we did with the other one change permissions and we should be able to move along uh, we have already created a new database so I'm gonna skip that that's the second option for the same thing run the installation script so the installation script is actually going to be inside of that Drupal folder that we just created and uploaded so I'm going to open up yet another tab I'm going to go to my website at Rodriguez etc slash Drupal that's where I place the file I press enter and I'm presented with the uh, standard installation profile option right away so I'll click on save and continue I'll pick English as my language save and continue database name is Seth Rodrig use underscore Drupal my database username it's picking up information from my computer but that's uh, actually F Rodrig U underscore IDT my database password I'm crossing my fingers that this is the one that I picked before and I'm gonna save and continue and uh, now it's uh, it's installing I'm gonna have Chrome yeah remember this for me because I was kind of thoughtful about it and it's uh, going 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 it's installing the standard mode and 
and the installation is just about done. I'm going to uh, put in my uh, contact information here so that it knows who I am. Just like with WordPress, here's my email, my username, just so that I can come back and uh, and do something with it. IDT Prof is what I usually use, but I actually use F. Rodriguez. Keep it simple. Email address is there. Password, I'll pick a simple password that I can remember. They match. My default country is currently set to none. I do believe we are in the United States though, so if you want to type in UN, etc., you can get there closer. United States. Uh, we are in the central time zone, update notifications, etc. If you want to get email notifications, that, that, uh, that's up to you. I'm going to click that off. I don't need to hear from Drupal. And check for updates. I'll leave that. Save and continue. And uh, that then will bring us back to... Do you want it to remember the password? Sure, why not? You have installed Drupal. Visit your new site and uh, here we are here's our site and uh, we can start by adding new content so from here on the uh, uh, Drupal installation is set and uh, now you uh, should be able to uh, continue with the rest of the uh, material in the course and start to publish your site